Hi, welcome to the channel. Please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're cooking fish tea with pumpkin. We got the fish right here, six or seven of them. All right, we got banana, green banana. We got pumpkin, make sure you get this kind of pumpkin, okay? Jamaican kind is better for the soup, more flavor. We got onions, thyme, bay leaf. We got a lot of okros. We love okra. We got carrots. And we got escalion or green onion, okay? Um, and in Jamaica, we call this chocho. Um, all over the world, you know, in like Mexican people, we call it coyote. It's very good. Good in iron phosphorus, calcium, and um, we have a yellow yam as well, gonna go inside the soup. In Jamaica, it's formed for like a starch, potato, you guys probably know what it is, even though you guys call sweet potato yam, but this is like yam in Jamaica, okay? Yeah. And we will make some spinners, it's like boiled dumpling. So we are gonna round this up, just a little bit of salt and water, and then drop it into the boiling liquid after. Scotch bunny pepper for sure. You guys know we say okra. We say okra all the time. A lot of okra in the soup. You know, make it nice. So we're going to start chopping some stuff. All right, so um, this is the chocho. For this, I'm just going to dice these up for like all the ingredients different from the pumpkin, okay? I'm going to dice them a little bit bigger because it's soup, so I don't want them to like mash and turn like mashed potato, okay? So I'm going to do them a little bigger. I put it in water because it's oxidized very easily. So I keep it in water, okay? It's one of the reasons why it's in water. And these banana, if you want to peel them, you can peel them. I'll show you the peel, you know, but for this one, we normally use it with the skin, okay? But if you want to peel it, easy to peel like that. Okay? Cut a little thing on the top. And that's it. Ready to go. Uh, let's cut this in two. Okay, and the rest, I'm gonna keep the skin in there, but with the skin, but what I do, I cut that. So when it boils, it's easy for you to get the skin off it. Normally, some stuff that we use in Jamaica, we use the skin on it as well, okay? Okay, and make sure you're using a knife, be careful. As I'm a professional, I know what I'm doing, so you guys don't cut your finger off, okay? Yeah. So, all right. Everything I'm gonna cut my handle. So, going here for the pumpkin. I'm gonna leave the skin on it, okay? Because if you take the skin off it, it's gonna make it like mushy. It's gonna break out into the soup and make the soup a little bit more thick, okay? So, I'm gonna leave the skin onto the pumpkin. And the pumpkin goes in maybe two minutes before the fish, okay? Because the pumpkin cook quick as well, all right? Yeah. So yeah, I, um, this is the spinners. Put a little bit of salt, mix it around. And this is old wheat flour. I we kind of like old wheat flour over here. Yeah. All right, so I just put in the salt in. So mix it up, make sure salt is evenly distribute in there then i'm gonna add a little bit of water you want to make sure you don't add all the water one time okay you just might look like you're making a dough okay you don't want it too soft so it, you know, it stick to your hand as well but you're gonna be able to have to roll it all right just knead them up like you could take a little bit more water you add a little bit more that's a little bit too much, but we're going to find out. That's good. It's the right amount. So we're going to this up. I'm going to show you what we call spinners in Jamaica, okay? We put this in goat soup, you know, tripe soup. When you put this in anything, say you're making um, some dumplings and you have a piece left over and it can't be 
be able to make the dumpling, we just roll into a spinners. And that's it. And this you don't need to even knead it too long or anything. As long as it come together, you know you can use it ready to go. So I'm gonna show you. Spinners. And because it's old wheat, like I got two different old wheat flour mixed in here, like an organic old wheat, which is not completely refined, you're gonna see it look like a little bit break, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, so here we have onion, green onions, thyme, bay leaf, allspice, with a little bit of oil, and on my spoon here I got, this is like a marinade, I blend it, onion, garlic, thyme, a little bit of base, a little bit of cilantro, you know, a little bit of oil and water. It's just like if you're going to put some garlic in here, so this is the same thing. So, Normally a lot of people don't fret off, start fretting off their stuff when they're making soup, but I like to fret off my stuff. If you fret it off, the more flavor you get out of it, okay? And I like to season twice at the end of what I just started, okay? Okay, so I'm making the spinners right now. Make sure your water is boiling before you put this inside. So I'm dropping some spinners in here. And this, this can cook for an hour, these spinners. It's supposed to be ready in 15, 20 minutes. You know, but it can cook for an hour. So you want to put the stuff that takes the longest to cook, start when you're, you're making soup. And these spinners as well, we put them in the oxtail as well too. You know, or you can put them in anything you make. If you're caught, you're caught, and whatever you want to do. Even can make dumplings and put them as spinners. And this is the same way we make the Jamaican festival as well, the same shape. But a lot more ingredients in the festival, which we're going to bring that to you guys. And one more recipe that I want to introduce to you as well. Okay. So now we're going to add the rest of the stuff. Set the fish, we're going to add some of this. So we get some color from it into the soup. Okay, we're adding the banana, the chocho, and the carrots. We're gonna make everything simmer down. Then I'm gonna add the rest of the pumpkin because I wanna add the rest of the pumpkin so we can have like a piece of pumpkin to eat instead of everything cooked and turned into soup, okay? So, this is what it looks like. So, spinners. Look good. We have the yam in here too. Let's see if I can find a piece. This is a yellow yam as well. So the reason why we cook so much like food into the soup is like so you can get a direct meal, you know, instead of get just like soup and fish, we put some food to enhance the meal so it fills your stomach more. All right. So what we just put in here, you saw we put in there before, was just stuff for you know loosen up. So this is the stuff that we're actually going to get to eat. I do the skin on it so it doesn't break up easily, okay? Without skin, it's going to turn into like a mashed potato in here, okay? So, these in here. Don't forget, scotch bonnet, always. And I'm double seasoning as well. This is some escalion on top right here. I always double season. All right, and then a whole lot of okros. You can't cook fish tea with all that. Alright, fish tea otherwise known as aka fish soup, okay? You haven't seen the fish yet because the fish take five, four minutes to cook. So I'm going to let it cook for another five minutes and then we're going to add the fish inside of it, okay? So now, this is the consistency you're kind of looking for. Not too watery and the okra give off a lot of gumminess. So it's gummy, you know? You see, it's, it's getting better overall. A little bit of grease on top. So now we're gonna add the fish in there. Fish take like five minutes to cook anyway, five to six minutes. So fish. Yep. Then you're gonna just cover him up and let him steam for five minutes. 
six of us in the house today, so we're cooking six fish in here, okay? So each individual will get one fish. And um, what you want to do, just kind of baste them over like that. So yeah, this is what the end product is supposed to look like. You see that? And the reason why we didn't put the fish in the middle, we put it at the end because you want to be able to get a whole fish for yourself and the fish doesn't break up easily, okay? So look at that. Nice, huh? Pepper is still here. Oak rose looking nice. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now we're going to make a plate for you to see how we normally plate it, okay? All right, so this is kind of the final product right here. You can see I got the spinners right here, I got the bananas, the pumpkin, which is not really broken up, it's perfect. And I got the yam, I got some okra right here, some carrot, some chocho, and all of that. Looking nice. The only thing missing is the fish that I have right here. We're gonna put it on top. Oh, look at that, huh? Nice. So, please don't forget to share, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, even tell another friend to tell a friend. Thank you.